I've always wanted to do a Guam layover. Okay, here's what's going on. The airline called me and they said, hey, can you do us a favor? We got a plane out in Honolulu that needs to go to Guam. So I thought, all right, I'll go out to Guam. The problem is I need 32 hours of rest in order to legally do the flight, which means right now I got to do two flights and it's gonna be really tight to get there and do that rest. I'm in a hurry, I have to do a flight into Dallas and then Dallas will connect to direct flight out to Hana. Well, on this flight to Dallas, I'm gonna be sitting in coach and then I won't get anything, I'll get some peanuts. I at least wanted to get free breakfast out of this thing. I can get there before the van leaves, as long as we land on time, but if there's any delay, then I'm delaying 400 people. So it's gonna be a little interesting. So this brings up the next logical question. Kelsey, why are you wearing a jacket in Miami when it's super hot outside? Well, here's the thing. I have access to one of the lounges at American and that lounge doesn't let you go in as a pilot. So I'm gonna have to clear the security line as a pilot. So I have to look pilot enough to get through that line and then not pilot enough to get into that lounge where the free breakfast is. This jacket gives me the blend of both. Right. Step one is complete. We don't have a lot of time until we make it to the flight. Train's here. All right, we gotta get to D15. See right now it's pilot. Not pilot. I don't know how good the breakfast is gonna be in here. All that matters is that better than peanuts. Oh, overnight oats, fruit. Why oh, can we go sit? It's quiet. I'm not over here. Okay, operation free breakfast is complete. My airline would understand if the flight is delayed because of somebody else or there's a maintenance, but I have a hard time explaining to them that the reason that I missed my flight was because I was busy shoving my face with free breakfast. So I gotta eat this quickly and uh, get over the gate. It looks like they're boarding. They go fast. I think I have about an hour before my next connecting flight. No, Lulu. Right now it's showing on time. I saw their signs for the lounge, so I'm gonna try to get over to the lounge there. I'm gonna switch into not pilot mode real quick. Well, I mean, it's a great disguise. I like going to the lounges, even though it was a little bit of a walk. It's quieter, seats are more comfortable. Gives me a little bit of a place to get some work done. Okay, we're out. Oh, we got about 10 minutes until boarding time. And I'll quickly put my badge on. It'd make it easier when the crew knows your crew. Anyways, they're gonna board here in about five minutes, so. There's a guy up there with this camera. He must be either making a vlog or making a documentary or everybody's a YouTuber now. The airlines pay for us to travel on long flights and business. With a pod, you can like lay back, relax. You just feel more rested at the end of it. Now but, this is where I'm supposed to be, right here. But <laughs> this lady's like, this is the seat that I want. Point to my seat. I usually go and check in with the pilots. I just say, hi, I'm back here if you need something. And that's not a requirement. To me, it's just a professional courtesy. You'll see how it goes. Ma'am, you mind if I go say hi to them real quick? Okay. Thank you. Come on up. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? I went up there, I talked with him. The captain said, like, you look familiar. Do I know you? And I'm like, no, I, I fly on you guys a lot. That was it. I don't ever take the presumption that they know me from YouTube. Now I'm gonna get into my civilian stuff and then get ready for this short, but yet very comfortable eight hour flight out to Hano. <laughs> I'd be in those little planes like that. I'd see these wide body aircraft and I'd think, man, one day I'd love to fly those. In case you're wondering what's in here, basically rip this. Lip balm, body lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, earplugs, the blindfold, which I don't really use socks, which 
in my opinion, are a huge waste. They're terrible. A pin, which would be great if I had tiny hands. I usually throw that stuff away. But the one thing, one of my favorite things, these are great. Of all the airlines that I fly on, these headsets are one of the best. Sometimes I'll just sleep with these on instead of putting my AirPods on. Now you don't get to keep these at the end of the flight. They come around and collect them. Makes sense. These are a couple hundred bucks. That's one of the other reasons why I like flying on these. It's, it's way more comfortable. Well, about eight hours later, we're over the ocean. We're just about getting ready to land now. I've changed from being in uh, hidden mode to uh, make sure people know me, know that I'm a pilot boat because once we land, I gotta find uh, the ground transport people. So it's easy for them to identify me if I'm a pilot. You are Good to go? Thank you. Thank you, have a great layover. I love this weather. Any airport where you walk outside at any point to get to where you need to go, this is awesome. Like that's the ramp, there's the plane I just came in on. Hopefully I can get a little time on the beach, really get my tan going. Get that golden brown skin that I always have. It's really nice here. I'm always, always happy to take this Hano layover. On my days off, like I might go somewhere that I wanna go, um, just hang out. But if I'm gonna get paid to go somewhere that I wanna go, then that's of course better. It's kind of cool in case you mess up like your last ditch effort but not get in trouble they are super strict here about bringing food in and bringing food out even the crew members we go through a security screen we don't get to skip the agriculture hey ma'am how you doing i got a pickup going to outrigger man those tattoos in your arm are so cool the artists are like my friends so they was like okay oh yeah two different guys do it same shop two different guys oh man i don't think i could do hours of needling in my arm Every time I come here, it seems like there's more and more big buildings. I can see why so many people come to live here. It, it, um, it's so nice. The weather's so nice. The people are super nice. What'd you say? The light changed fast? They're trying to get everybody off the beach, I guess. I mean, why would you not be in a good mood with this type of weather and how beautiful the islands are? I can't imagine why. This is awesome. Finally at the hotel. I'm ready to get to my room. Hey man, how's it going? Can I just see your ID room? Yeah. All oh, the flight attendants got here way before yeah, me, yeah. huh? They did. I get the long layover, I guess. All right, sir. Good to go. Cool, thank you. And yeah. is breakfast included or not here? Oh, no, it's not. It's not included here. for this one, yeah. Okay. Down at the end here, corner office. Nice. Well, not the waterfront that it is sometimes, unless it's on, that doesn't seem like. Oh, there it is. There's a lot worse places I've ended up before. Anyway, I'm gonna just go take a walk by myself, enjoy Waikiki Beach for 20 minutes, come back, take a shower, go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow night. It's 3.30 in the morning. And I couldn't be more happy about this. I didn't change my sleep clock. I stayed like I was on Miami time. So right now it's 9.30 in Miami. It's gonna be sunrise. I got a perfect eight hours of sleep and we should fly with the sunrise the whole way there, which is awesome. All right, so we got some things that are broken on this aircraft that we're gonna have to deal with. One of them is this engine. You see these little red things right here on the engine? I don't know if you can see that they're red. That means that we can't open the thrust reversers on this engine. If it were to be really icy or very wet, it reduces some of our capabilities. They put that little thing on there so that way we don't do it by accident when it's not supposed to. So that locks it out. And it looks like they're getting a new tire on here. See the mechanics over there? So we have a slightly degraded aircraft, but it shouldn't be too bad overall. Everybody's on board already. All the troops are on board. So it looks like we're just about done. We can get out of here. I just walked the deck. Most of them are already sleeping. So uh, we're about to blast out of here right now. I'm sitting in the third seat. The captain's taking a leg because it's gonna be uh, gusty, direct crosswind landing. We have uh, a few things that are broken on the plane, thrust reverser and a few other things. Anyways. I Oh, they're, they're hitting it because of the military. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck here. Looks like about seven and a half hours in route. Relatively smooth flight. 
appreciate you if you stay seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. Thank you for your service. Slide defense, please be seated for departure. I thought we were going to beat the sunrise, but I guess not. Well, we got out later than we thought. That's why the sun's out, but it's fine. It's behind us. As you can see here from the chart, about halfway through the trip, which is great. Now it's pretty smooth sailing, very smooth. And uh, I end up on the middle rest, which is what I'm on right now. It's about two hours. Once a little TB just kind of lags. And then uh, I'm well to feed the lead captain for the next couple hours. I've always wanted to do a Guam layover. Well, crew, I made it. I'm in Guam. It's pretty much what I expected it to be. It's a little bit more humid than, than Hawaii, but it's gorgeous here and a lot less people, at least where I'm at. Look at this water. It's basically see-through. So normally I finish my videos in my hotel room after I finish the trip, but I'm going to grab a rock and just hang out here and hide in the shade, but enjoy the water. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.